we're going to talk about what we decide to do for our market research analysis. So for figure one on our wiki page of the market analysis, um, under figure one, sorry, we, we had asked the question, what is your age to understand the age of our demographic? The average age from our survey was 24. This meant that we would be selling our products to our younger market. In order to maximise our sales, we identified that a social media presence would be important in re reaching our target market, as this is information from the new report shows. Figure two. We, we then asked the question, what is your gender? The survey results shows that the student population has significantly higher female population. Again, we used this information to refine our strategy. We knew that with a higher female customer base, we needed to make, our, make sure our marketing was done through Facebook as this would be most effective. So then we go on to figure three. We then asked the question, would you get your face painted? There was a slim majority that said no. However, there was a significant number who said yes. This encouraged us to continue going ahead with the decision to face paint as we were making pure profit on any sales that we would have. Figure four. We then asked the question, what would you pay for face painting? The average price people expect to pay was four pounds. The price we initially were going to charge was 10 pounds. We then adjusted our price strategy accordingly. Figure five. We asked the question, how much would you pay for wrapping paper? The average price customers would be willing to pay was two pounds. This allowed us to increase our pricing as we were originally going to charge one pound fifty. The price increased further the profitability of our enterprise. Figure six. We asked the question, how much would you pay for Christmas cards? The average price customers would be willing to pay was two pounds. This allowed us to increase our pricing as we were originally going to pay charge one pound fifty. The price increase furthered the profitability of our enterprise as we only needed to sell the cards for six pence to make a profit. I'm hand over to Matt. Thank you. I'm going to read from figure seven onwards. Uh, in order to, to maximise our volume of customer, we observed when the campus lounge would be busiest. The results concluded that it would be busiest on a Tuesday, Wednesday or Thursday between the hours of 12 and 2. We then tried to book the stall for these days and times. However, we were unsuccessful in applying for the first round, however we were successful in getting a stall from 12 to 2 on the second day. In order to book the stalls, we needed to choose from a set of dates. We needed to know what dates did our target market have the most disposable income. We asked the following questions to identify at what stage of the month do students have income and how much. In figure 8, we asked the question, do you have a part-time job? This, gave, this allowed us to understand where students' money was coming from. The results showed us that over two thirds of students that we surveyed had a part time job. We also concluded from the survey that most students had a part time job and that most part time jobs pay at the end of the month, meaning that it would be important for us to book a stall from between the 28th to the 5th of the month. Using this information, we booked our stalls from the 31st and on the 2nd. In figure 9, we asked the question Do you receive SAS? This question allowed us to understand where students' money was coming from. The results showed us that again, over two thirds of students that we had surveyed received SAS. We used this information. We used this information that students would have disposable income from the seventh of each month, as this is when SAS is paid. In Figure Ten, we asked, "Do you have any income left at the end of the month?" We asked this question to establish whether our target market would be more inclined to make an impulse purchase or not. The majority of the target market answered no. <coughs> this showed us that they would be willing to make a one-time purchase on goods such as cards and wrapping as they didn't have any money left at the end of the month. And finally, in figure 11, we asked, do you donate to charity? We asked this to establish if our target market would be willing to, or would be more inclined to spend money if it was for a good cause. The feedback was that 78% of our target market would be willing to donate to charity. We then made sure that our trading stall would highlight the fact that it was for charity. This change helped increase our sales as customer feedback on the days highlighted the charity was a big influence in their factor, sorry, a big influence in factor in their decision to buy. And that's our marketing research. Bye. Bye. Bye.